In most of the common RAS examples, there is only one robot used. But in some use cases, robots are interacting or cooperating with each other. So, being able to simulate several robots using RAS and RAS2 controls should be useful. In this tutorial we will do a simulation using multiple robots. Here I will describe several tricks that should be implemented in order to do this. Let's see the code. Download the multiple robots zip file and extract it to the home directory. In this project, we have two packages. In the robot control package, we calculate and publish velocities for each joint of each robot. The robot simulation package consists of two packages. The robot description package in which robot configuration related files are stored, and robot gazebo package in which we have multiple launch files and the world file for gazebo simulation. The program begins from the main launch XML file. In this line we are launching our gazebo world. To launch a gazebo world, we are using the start world launch py script. Every python launch file must provide a function within the module called generate launch description. This function is called after loading the module to get a single launch description class from it. In this function, firstly, we are reading the share directory of the packages. This operation can easily be done by using the get package share directory function of the Ament index python library. Get package prefix return the installation prefix directory of the given package. In these lines we are setting gazebo model path. This is required not only for gazebo to be able to find model path but also to load controllers properly. Include launch description is an action that includes a launch description source and yields its entities when visited. Python launch description source encapsulates a Python launch file, which can be loaded during launch. Launch description argument describes launch able system. The description is expressed by a collection of entities which represent system architect's intentions. The description may also have arguments, which are declared by declare launch argument. Note that declaring a launch argument has to be in a part of the launch description that is describable without launching. The procedure of using these functions is common to every launch file, so we will use this structure in all other Python written launch files. Now let's see the spawn with control launch file. Here we define arguments. Note that robot name argument is used in every launch file. This is to distinguish topic names, joint names and other parameters of the robots we will launch. In these lines, robot state publisher is launched. As every other Python launch file, this file has generate launch description function. We are calling launch setup function using opaque function. This is an action that executes a Python function. Note that executed Python function should have these three arguments as described in this document. The perform function of the launch configuration class performs the substitution by retrieving the launch configuration as a string. Here we are setting names for topics and a robot state publisher name. This is required to operate each robot independently. In these lines we are creating a robot description. In this tutorial we are using a Zacro file. Mappings argument is used to adding arguments while parsing a Zacro file. Note that in case of using a Zacro file, we are creating robot description with the robot name we previously defined. 
In these lines, we are defining a robot state publisher. At startup, robot state publisher is supplied with URDF. And it publishes the state of the robot to TF2. An important thing to notice is that we are remapping robot description topic and joint states topic to distinguish topics of different robots. Now let's see the spawn in gazebo launch file. The file structure is the same as in the robot state publisher launch file we saw previously. The arguments we set in the main launch XML file are passed all the way through to launch setup function and used in spawn entity pi script. This script is used to spawn an entity in gazebo. Gazebo must be started with gazebo raws in it, gazebo raws factory and gazebo raws state for all functionalities to work. Gazebo raws in it initializes raws with the system arguments passed to gazebo. It also publishes the latest simulation time to clock topic. Gazebo RAWS factory factorializes RAWS with the system arguments passed to Gazebo and provides services to spawn and delete entities from the world. Gazebo RAWS state provides services and topics to query and set the state of entities in simulation, such as position and velocity. We also can set initial position and orientation of the robot. Next, let's take a look at static odom to world launch pi script. Here, we are executing static transform publisher. It publishes a static coordinate transformation to tf2. The first six arguments represent x, y, z offset in meters and yaw, pitch, roll in radians. The second and third arguments represent frame ID and child frame ID respectively. The final launch file is a start control launch file. Here we are executing joint state broadcaster and forward velocity controller. Joint state broadcaster reads all state interfaces and reports them on the joint states topic and the dynamic joint states topic. The controller manager provides the infrastructure to load, unload, start and stop controllers. When loading a controller, the controller manager will use the controller name as a root for all controller specific parameters. Forward velocity controller controls velocity of each wheel of the robot. These were all launch files required to launch multiple robots in Gazebo. Now let's see files that describe the robot. Robot description is done using a Zacro file. Writing every property of the robot in one file will result in a very big file and will cause maintainability issues. So, there are separate files for each part of the robot. All these parts are come together in the robot Zacro file. In this file, Firstly we are importing Zacro files for each part. Note that robot name we defined in the main launch XML file is also used here. It will be passed to every macro of separate parts and used in a joint and linked name. Parent parameter represents the name of the part to which this link will be attached. The origin parameter represents translational and rotational offset of this part from the parent part's origin. The units are meters and radians respectively. Here, we are setting gazebo related properties. Controllers related file is particularly important. Here, we are setting RAW's two control properties. Gazebo system initialize the system interface parameters. The command interfaces describe values in which this joint can be controlled. For example, position, velocity or effort. 
the state interfaces are considered read-only feedback interfaces. Here, names of the joints which state's gazebo will publish are defined. In these lines libgazebo ROS2 control plugin is added. The parameters tag defines YAM file with the configuration of the controllers. Robot param node tag defines name of the node where the robot parameter is located. In the config folder, controller configuration YAM file is located. Note that we have to make a separate file for each robot. Let's see how we publish commands to control robots. Open the robot control script. In the commander class, we define a numpy array with size of number of joints we are going to control. Note that the order of joints will be the order we defined in the controller yam file. Here we define a publisher for each joint. Note that message type should be float64 multi-array. Before executing the simulation, make sure that you have installed the shown packages. To open Gazebo World, execute the main launch XML file. Then run the robot control pi script.